Okay, let's make a presentation. So we need to open PowerPoint. We're making our own theme, so click Cancel here. And to make our theme, click on Themes, Edit, Slide Master. So our theme wants a light blue background. Right click on the slide, Format Background, Color, choose a nice light blue. That will do nicely. Our name and date on the top left hand corner, so we want to click on Home, insert a text box. Big enough, name. And for the date, we can insert today's date automatically, so insert date and time. Choose your format, let's do this one. Okay. Clip art of a camera logo in the bottom right hand corner, so insert clip art, click on clip art gallery, type in camera, and it gives us a camera, so click on this, insert. Then we can resize it and move it into the corner. That will do. Now we need the slide number in the centre of the footer. Now these footers that are here already don't tend not to work, so if we delete that and let's click on home again, very home, insert another text box, and for the slide number we want it an automatic number, so insert slide number and center the number within the box. Now heading this is the heading, this line. If you triple click, select the line. Dark blue. It's a nice dark blue. Center aligned, it already is. Large font between 50 and 72. Let's, let's choose 54. Subheading. Now, there is no subheading on this slide. The subheading is on the title slide. So click on the title slide. Triple click bright blue, left aligned, medium font, so let's choose 40. And bulleted lists, back to the main slide, bulleted lists, let's just worry about the first level, don't worry about the second and third levels. Bright blue, left aligned it is, small font, let's choose 20. And it's, it's a bullet, so let's leave it like that. OK, to the slides. So close master. First slide, add the title and the subtitle. And some presenter notes go down here. slide finished, so let's insert a new slide, click on new slide, title, bulleted list, it needs to be on the right, on the right but let's move it in a minute. So we can now re if we resize this box from the left we can move it over to the right, like that. Now we want a vertical bar chart. So click on charts. The vertical bar chart is actually a column chart. So click on column, the simplest one, and we open Excel, or Excel opens automatically. Now we can type the products into the first column. Prices into the second column, but we don't want these last two columns, so we need to resize the area of the data we're selecting. So if you hover 
over the corner here until you see this icon, click and drag across. So only select the two columns we want. That's fine, now we can press Command Tab back to PowerPoint. There's our chart. Sony's looking a little small, so if we go back to the spreadsheet, we can Command Tab tab back, and you can see there's a mistake there, isn't there? So let's correct the mistake. And Command Tab back to PowerPoint. That's looking good. We don't want this dollar sign as the title. Let's press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. The instructions ask us not to have a legend, so click here. Press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And let's resize a little. Okay, a thick dark blue horizontal line. Now a line is a shape, so insert shape. Scroll down to the lines, click on line, and just click, drag across. There's our line. Now we can close this media box. We don't need any more. It's not quite dark blue, so we can right click, format shape, line, color, choose a dark blue, and while we're at it, let's make it a little thicker. So click on weights and arrows, weight two points, not very thick. Let's make it five point. Okay, that's better. The bullets should appear one at a time, so in this box, click on this box, animations, let's just use the simplest animation, appear. So they're now numbered one to five, if we view the slide, in slideshow you'll see as you press the arrow key across, the bullets appear one by one, so that works. Presenter notes. And that slide's finished. So, home, new slide. Slide title. Text. And we want another clip art image of a camera to the right of the list. Now remember, there was only one clip art camera, so it's going to do no good searching here again. So if we click online, we can go and search online. Type in camera, and that's a nice camera. Let's choose this one. If we want to very detailed image we could download it but for our purposes we can just right click copy image command tab back to PowerPoint and command V paste it move it resize it presenter notes And the slide's finished. Now, a few more things for the whole presentation. We want the same transitional effect. Now, the easy way to do that, let's go back to our slide master. Transitions, let's choose a transition. Let's do random bars, select random bars, apply to all slides. And the same animation effect on the title of each slide. So I click on the title, click on animation, and let's have it fly in.
Okay, close master. Let's just um, step through our presentation to make sure it works. New slideshow, play from start. That will do. Present, pre print the presentation showing presenter notes. Go to file, print. We're not just printing slides, we want slides with presenter notes. If you click on print what, we can print notes. And you can see a sample of how that, that will turn up with the slide and the notes at the bottom. So we could press print. Finally save your work with a new file name. It says file, save as. Let's give it a new file name. And save it. The end.